Do you want to make the jump to 4.0, but don't understand how the new tile set system works? Stay tuned. All right, everyone, welcome in. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at how to create a new tile set using the uh, new 4.0 features. Um, this is quite different from the 3.x branch. So let's go ahead and take a look. Of course, first thing we're going to need into our scene is going to be a tile map. Can't have a tile set without a tile map, of course. So we're just going to go over to the right hand side in the inspector and we're going to create a new tile set. All right, so to make our tile set, let's go ahead and make sure that we have tile set selected down here at the bottom and not tile map. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab our tile set and just drag it into this big empty space here and drop it in. Now, if you're using 16 by 16 tiles, you can go ahead and say yes. Uh, in my case, I'm going to say no because I am working with a 64 by 64. So I'm going to come down here to texture region size and I'm going to change this to 64 by 64 since those are my tile sizes as you can see here now you could tediously go through one by one and select things but what we're going to do is we're going to use the three dots up here and we're going to select create tiles in non-transparent texture regions and there we go that is basically our tile set anything that has uh, even a pixel in it, as you can see here, we have this little corner here, is going to automatically be selected as uh, added to our tile set. Now, if you had if you had different tiles uh, selected, for example, if you went through one by one and created these or selected these, and you had all these empty spaces, and they were all selected, you could likewise come into the three dots here and select remove tiles in fully transparent texture regions. And it would do the same thing here, only instead of adding these tiles, it'll remove the ones that have nothing in them. Alright, so with that base, all we have to do is select Tile Map. And now we can select Tile and start creating our map out of it. So, getting our base tiles like that is fairly uh, simple for us to do. And you can even multi-select by click and drag, and there you go. Now, it does seem to be a little wonky because it's placing them all in the same place. So, at least for now, I still place things one by one. At least, uh, you know, at this step. So, let's go ahead and delete those using right click. There we go. All right. So, here in our tile map in the inspector, you can see tile size here. You could go ahead and tweak those if you wanted again nothing is gonna uh, be selected here but see we could now go ahead and uh, select multiple tiles like this which is great but now you might see that our tiles are kind of screwed up again because we've changed uh, the size of these tiles like this so again we can just head over to tile set and we can just again create tiles from non-transparent and we're back to normal again so if you don't want to select multiple tiles like that, just make sure to set the tile size and your tile map property over in the inspector. All right. So with that, you now have a tile set that you can start building a map from. Although in some situations, of course, you may want uh, physics to work, for example, with this sign you may place this sign and you may want the player to bump into it instead of walking through it which is understandable so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have our tile set selected i'm going to select the sign here that has my property there we go i'm going to select this set here as you see we've got this light blue outline so with this tile selected I'm going to go into back into my inspector, open up physics layers and add an element. Now you can go ahead and you can add all different kinds. You can add tons of different physics layers. Um, but for this, I'm just going to use the one and you can see you got your layer and mask selected here. You can even do a physics material if you wanted. 
Um, but with our collision mask and layer set, you'll see it now inside of the tile properties here. We have a physics tab that opened up. And if we open that, we can see we got physics layer zero, which is our first one here. And we have our, an image of our little tile here. Now, depending on what you're going for or how, how you want your game to be yourself, uh, what you can do is you can hit the F key, which is the default, or you can hit these three dots here and hit reset to default tile shape. And now you have the full block like you would see in definitely in older games for sure. Uh, but if you want to have more of a pixel perfect based off of the image that you're looking at, you, we can use the green, blue, and red here for adding points, removing points, and moving them. And as you can see here, we now have the ability to just click in. And you can make this as pixel perfect as you want. And close it off. And now we have a shape, as you see there. And of course, blue will allow you to grab and move the points around if you wanted. And red will let you completely delete the points. So there's how we can go ahead and create collision for our tiles. So hopefully that helps you get going with creating uh, tile sets in 4.0. For those of you that may want to move over from 3.x or uh, those of you that are maybe just getting into getting into this for the first time. There's how we can create some basic tiles and add collision to it. Likewise, we have all of your other sections here. Uh, that are in here, and of course, if you add uh, terrain sets, navigation layers, and all that in there, they will also show up in your tile properties. But alright, take care, have yourselves a good one, I'll see you guys in the next video, and if you have any questions or uh, comments, something that you want to see in another video, go ahead and leave them down below.